Researchers have invested a lot of time and energy in finding different and useful things for humans. Many researchers work on viruses and are looking for different ones in order to help people. A group of researchers were looking for viruses in Brazil when they made an unexpected discovery. Among the many viruses they found and identified, they were able to discover a virus which they hadn't come across before. After doing a lot more research, they concluded that 90% of this virus's composition had never been discovered by scientists. The virus was named Yara virus, named after Yara which is a water queen figure in Brazilian mythology. It was discovered in an artificial lake in Brazil. The virus is important as it's made up of new genes. A lot of viruses have been discovered in the past century and many of these are known as giant viruses. These giant viruses are called giants because of their large protein shells which contain virus particles. Although these viruses are impressive because of their size, they are known for having the ability to synthesize proteins as much as they want. This also makes them capable of DNA repair, DNA replication, transcription and translation. Before giant viruses discovery, it was believed that viruses couldn't do these things as they were only capable of infecting their host. The new Yara virus is not a giant virus, but what is interesting is how unique its genome is. The 90% of this discovered virus have never been seen by any scientist before, so the undiscovered genes were named orphan genes. Six genes found in the virus were familiar with other genes found by scientists in other viruses. Scientists searched through 8,500 mega genomes in order to find any sort of resemblance with this virus with others. The question of what Yara virus is remains to be known. The scientists can only speculate about what it could be. Some suggest that it could be the first isolated case of unidentified groups of amoebial viruses, while others say that Yara virus could be the reduced form of a giant virus. No conclusion has been made, and the scientists have agreed they'll need to do a lot of analysing and studying in order to know what exactly Yara virus is. The scientists later came forward with a statement and said that a number of unknown genes in the virus show how little we really know, and that there could be many other similar viruses out there that we are currently unaware of. The scientists are eager to find more viruses like the Yara virus as it would solve many mysteries. As of right now they're focusing on trying to better understand the Yara virus and the effects it has on living creatures. Another interesting discovery in regards to life is that of Europa. In recent years Jupiter has been at the centre of many planned missions, and this interesting planet has taught us a lot over the years. Although this future NASA mission is still in its planning and conceptualisation stages, there appears to be real plans made by the organisation to develop a future mission that will begin to look for signs of life on the surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. Known as the Europa Lander Mission, NASA scientists theorise the most likely candidate for life to be found in our solar system is expected to be within the icy surface of Europa, due to its expectation of the moon holding vast amounts of water beneath the frozen surface. Data surrounding Europa believes that the moon holds a vast salty ocean of water, similar to our oceans on Earth. This giant ocean is said to span the moon's entire globe. Additionally due to the frozen surface, Scientists expect the conditions of the water to be flavourable, as the ice surface acts as a natural atmospheric barrier against radiation, similar to our electromagnetic field, giving life desirable conditions to flourish without its deep oceans. Europa is one of the targets of human colonisation as it has several benefits as compared to other bodies, although a lot of challenges would be faced to host life in Europa. The water is not only useful and helpful for humans for drinking purposes, but it can also be broken down into oxygen in order to provide humans with breathing air. Scientists also believe that oxygen has been accumulated on the surface of the ice, and would provide sufficient oxygen for marine life. Living on Europa presents a lot of challenges and problems which may prove fatal to humans. One is the high levels of radiation from Jupiter's radiation belt, which is around 10 times stronger than Earth's Van Alien radiation belts. 
If humans become exposed to this kind of radiation, the mortality rates would be very high. Therefore, humans would need a large amount of protection from radiation in order to survive in this location. It's been suggested that in order to live here, we would have to use Europa's eye sheens. This is in order to hide away from vast amounts of radiation Europa would receive. The temperature on the surface of Europa is minus 170 degrees, and it's no secret that humans would really struggle to survive in this, even if there was a structure for us to stay in. However, water existing under the surface of the ice sheets tells us there is suitable temperature present, and that sometime in the near future we could use this to our advantage. There is also less gravity present on Europa which might pose a problem for us humans, as the chances of loss of bone density, loss of muscle density and a weakened immune system is increased. It's also predicted there would be alien life forms that would be present in the water. If such aliens do exist, then humans might come into contact with harmful microbes. An unstable surface is also another problem, as there would be no signs of when the surface would disappear underground, or when surface quakes would occur. The quakes would pose a threat to humans, as we would never have experienced anything like this before. NASA plans on sending a Europa rover to the moon in the attempts to penetrate the surface and collect samples more than 4 inches deep to better understand the complex chemistry of materials from the ocean below. Efforts are already being made by NASA engineers to develop a rover similar to the Martian rovers, that will carry miniature laboratories within the lander to analyse samples, but with the addition of onboard chemical analysis labs, that would be able to hold microscopic cameras for the analysation of bacterial and microbial life. Although the project is still in its conceptual stages, it holds high promise in the search for extraterrestrial life, and seems to be a growing priority in the coming years. Another interesting discovery is that of Rosetta's comet, and the fact that it's been observed changing colour. This comet was discovered in 1969, and since then it's been studied by researchers around the world. Its heat was able to strip away the older surface to reveal a fresher and newer surface. Rosetta's visible and infrared thermal imaging spectrometer was the one who started to detect the changing colour of Rosetta. This was in the months following the immediate arrival of the spacecraft in 2014. Teams of researchers monitored the changes in light reflected from the surface over a wide range of visible and infrared wavelengths. At its arrival, Rosetta started noticing something different. 6% of the comet was extremely dark and was reflecting visible light that was falling off of it. The surfaces of the comet are different from each other. Some are dark, some light and others are a shade between the two. The part of the comet that is rich in organic materials appears to be red, while the other parts that appears to contain ice appears to be blue. At the time when Rosetta landed on the comet it was far away from the sun, but even then the ice on it was gently being warmed and was evaporating, turning into gas and going upwards. This also resulted in the dust being lifted which gave the comet its head and tail. Studies showed us that after this dust was lifted, fresher material was being shown which had a different colour. This surface was more reflective and gave the comet a colour of blue, as it became brighter with more ice. The comet's brightness changed by 34%, and over the course of three months it changed from 6.4 to 9.7%, an increase of 3.3%. The phenomenon has been explained by researchers. They determine that as the water is growing more in abundance it looks as if the comet is changing colour. The change took place between January 2015 to August 2016. There are two opposite cycles at work. One cycle is like approaching the sun and the other is crossing the frost line. As the comet moved away from the sun it started to change colour again. As there was less water turning into gas the dust particles started settling back, which gave the comet's back its red colour. These changes which were discovered and noted were not able to be spotted from the earth with any types of telescopes, as they cannot precisely distinguish the core of the comet from such a distance. Rosetta was able to provide proper observation, and the scientists were able to easily find an explanation to it. 
So what do you make of the new virus discovered in Brazil? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.